Hey, good morning. I uh, just wanted to put some content out there. Um, there's really not a lot going on in KVK right now. So there's not a whole lot to make content on, but I thought I'd share uh, my stupidity and show you what happens when I get bored. When it's KVK and I get bored. Uh, got third place in MGE, went for Jedwiga, so I took her right away to Expertise. Uh, she was at 5541. Went ahead, dropped some heads on her. I can expertise her. She's expertise now. Um, we'll use my Nevsky set with her if I need to garrison. And then I figured, what the fuck? I was so close. I might as well. Um, I dropped uh, 85 heads on Theodora to go ahead and expertise her. Don't know what I'm going to use her. Probably a stupid mistake. But hey, you know what the hell? That's, that's what happens when you have KVK. Uh, you win both your zones, and you really got nothing going on except for grinding honor. And uh, I'm sorry, but barb chaining just bores the hell out of me. So um, I wanted something to do. So yeah, yeah, I went ahead and uh, expertise Jedwiga and Theo. Um, so, I mean, I guess on the bright side, right? Uh, the 10 commanders that I have yet to expertise are Wu. Uh, probably won't be doing her anytime soon. Um, Charlemagne, I doubt I will ever do him. Um, Chandra Gupta, I can start working on him on the daily chess uh, in, I think it's like four days, 12 hours, something like that. Um, Lubu, unlikely I ever expertise him. Montezuma, so we'll start getting him in the leadership MGs maybe. Uh, CJ can spin the wheel a few more times for him and he'll be done. Um, he is five, 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 one. Uh, I mean, he's still a fair number of heads away, but you know, several infantry MGs and wheel spins, uh, should clear that up for me. Although when they drop the new infantry, obviously I'll be spinning for him. Um, Suleiman, I, I don't know that I'll ever be expertising him and same with Bertrand. I, I don't see him getting a lot of use out there. Um, Flavius eventually will get him expertise. We have to see how the new infantry MGE commander is, uh, compared to Flavius, see which one I go for in those. Um, and then, uh, Jan Ziska, um, uh, eventually get him in the cavalry MGEs between him and Chandra. Uh, we'll get those done eventually, but, uh, that's where we sit. That was my early Sunday morning today. Um, if there was any fighting going on with us, I would definitely be live streaming, but, uh, there is absolutely nothing like the video I put out the other day with an update, you know, we've completely taken over San Pedro. Um, the enemy has no territory here, you know, although when they were fighting in that zone, they did a very good job. I think they just realized that, uh, we're kind of crazy and we're going to swarm everything. <laughs> so they had dropped out of that zone. They moved down. They started fighting in Cylon against our allies in the uh, lower left-hand corner, the wind, the water camp. I'm sorry. I can't, can't keep these elements straight. Um, water's doing quite good. Although, you know, it's been kind of back and forth. Uh, right here is where the major fight is taking place. Um, between the 73 CG Alliance, which is a very good alliance. They were top eight Osiris League uh, in the Sobek realm. So, you know, they have their shit together, um, you know, but there's, they're slowly getting pinched, slowly getting pushed uh, out of this territory. Um, the water camp did successfully take the sanctuary there. So uh, wind does not have a sanctuary in this zone nor do they have a sanctuary over here in San Pedro. Um, fire, it looks like fire sent a couple of kingdoms down this way. They knew uh, if water was going to their right, um, that water would not be able to sustain the battle on two fronts. So fire has captured the sanctuary in Tahiti. Um, but we have the sanctuary up in Lucerne. Uh, one of our coalitions has that one. And then the other coalition has the sanctuary down in San Pedro. So I'm doing quite well this KVK. Obviously, it is far from over. Um, we have to see what happens next when the zone seven opens. You know, can we can we block fire out of getting to Kingsland? Can we block uh, wind out of getting to Kingsland? Or are they going to try and 
you know, work together and block us or block our allies, uh, the water camp from getting out of King's Land, getting into King's Land themselves. So um, should be good, should be some good fights. Both, all of these kingdoms have some solid alliances in. Uh, shout out to JF01. Um, those guys are some tenacious fighters. They have uh, some very good players with very good equipment. Um, one of the guys I am going back and forth with in Canyon all the time was kind enough to share his um, equipment set up with me. And, uh, you know, this is what he's looking like. You know, five Ring of Dooms, four Horn of Furies, um, you know, proct equipment left and right, um, including some KVK equipment in there. So, um, you know, they're, they're definitely not slouches and, and they fight very, very well on the field as well. So, um, you know, shout out to them. They've been doing a fantastic job when they've been fighting. Uh, you know, I think much like the wind camp, they decided that they would uh, retreat and save save resources probably for fighting in the next zone and for, for fighting in King's Land. Um, but, but we will see. You know, again, you know, we're doing really, really well. Uh, we have some alliances in there are some kingdoms in our camp that are just you know battling right there with us you know they've got uh tons of troops on the field they're sending rally after rally defending flags swarming rallies swarming cities swarming you know everything so it's it's been a very refreshing kvk to have allies in our camp that are like-minded um, think like we do play like we do and we'll stay up as long as the need is there to progress and move forward so you know, kudos to everyone in this KVK. Um, there's been very little toxicity in chat, and it has overall been a been a pleasure to fight against people, fight with people, um, and and meet some new people and make some new friends. You know, because that that's what this game is all about: it's having fun, making friends, meeting people, and growing together as a community. Um, if everyone's toxic with each other, then uh, that doesn't help the game move forward overall and that's that's the goal here right to increase the longevity of the game so that we can all be playing it and having fun for years to come uh not much else if y'all have any questions comments uh please post them in chat and as all or in the comments section as always don't forget to hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel click that bell notification if you want to get notified when i go live or put content out there um, I will not be doing a Ark of Osiris uh, tips video this week just because uh, I'm, I had a lot of other things going on that I'd prefer to do myself. So just being honest with y'all. Um, if there are things that you want to see in a future Ark of Osiris video, hey, great. Um, in the meantime, uh, next Saturday at 14 UTC. I will be doing a podcast with Lattice Gaming, Beast Slough, and Plato Gaming. Um, just talking through some general things, some of the recent developer notes, our thoughts on those, um, and, and several other things. Uh, it will be on Beast Slough's channel. He will be kind enough to be hosting us for this week's podcast. Um, so check it out. Check it out. There is a link uh, on my YouTube page directly to his channel. So be sure and like and subscribe to him. So that you know when we go live with that podcast again, that's Saturday at 14 UTC. Should be fun. Good group of guys. Um, I've enjoyed hanging out with them thus far. Uh, you know, just talking through, talking through things that we see as streamers, things that we come across as streamers, common questions, common issues. Um, you know, talking about our OBS setup, uh, the different hardware we have, things like that. So it should be good to get their opinions on Rock. Um, I watch these guys myself whenever they're streaming, whenever I have the time, uh, or even if I'm working, I'll, uh, what I call lurk and work, you know, I'll put them on in the background while I'm working just to kind of, uh, have something to listen to. Um, but, uh, good, good guys. They have good thoughts. And, uh, if you want to see how to barb chain, Plato is your man. He, he is crazy between Plato and, uh, uh, another guy I watched 12 inch PV penis, um, those, those two guys, in my opinion, they are the gods of barb chaining. And, uh, uh, until I see different, they will remain up there on that God tier pedestal for barb chainers. 
But uh, real quick, just wanted to throw something out there today to keep content coming out consistently. Um, appreciate everyone's time. Thank you for watching. And uh, y'all have a good one. We'll see you at the next time.